Hi, I'm Angelo Ponzi, and thank you for coming back to the cafe today. We're going to take a five-minute coffee break. This is what these segments are going to be about. Quick breaks. Have you just step away from whatever you're doing, having a good time, working hard, taking a jog, whatever it happens to be. Slow down. Take a deep breath. Take five minutes with me. I really appreciate it. So if you just joined, this is the second or probably the third episode of the five-minute break at the Business Growth Cafe. And our goal here is really just to take these little snapshots and very focused conversations. Now, I do encourage you, if you've not listened to the entire show, the businessgrowthcafe.com, you can hear our show's very in-depth conversations with a wide variety of guests. So today, though, is the follow-up. Oh, clicking, getting to get figure out this whole technology as I'm trying to manipulate all of this if you're watching the video. However, we're going to talk about relevancy today. Now, what do I mean by that? When you're developing your messaging and you're communicating, so many times I find that the companies don't really understand their customers. What's important to them? What are those motivations and those behaviors And how do you communicate and be relevant to them and to their needs and their wants? Well, one way to really find that out is to do some market research. Go talk to your customers. Don't sit around the boardroom and talk to yourself and say, yeah, I've been doing this for 20 years. I know exactly what they want. Well, you know, the reality is things change. There are tons of case studies about people and business leaders who sat around and talked to themselves, made those gut decisions, and they were wrong. So if you're trying to market to a particular vertical segment, typical audience segment, if you will, you need to understand what's important. What is that relevant message that you can deliver that makes their lives, their jobs, their companies better? And so I really encourage you to understand that because depending on the channels that you're using, if you're doing Twitter, you only have so many characters. If you're doing a television spot, You've got 30 seconds, 60 seconds. If you're doing a podcast like me, you have five minutes or in my other podcasts, which are the main ones, you could have 45 minutes to communicate. So depending on the channel that you're using, the medium that you're using, the the amount of space, if you will, or time or energy that you have to communicate that message is really important. Okay, People are not reading, they're not paying attention, they're surfing the web, they're just looking for information. There's studies that show about 85% of, of people go on the web and do their own research before they ever pick up the phone or, or really dig in deeper. So you have to be relevant and you have to be able to differentiate yourself from your competitors. What makes you different? So why are you relevant? And what makes you different becomes extremely important. And we're going to have another five-minute conversation about differentiation in another episode. But what's really important is understanding why you are more relevant and how to communicate that relevancy of your brand. And if we think about the other conversations we've been having about consistency, right? How can you consistently deliver a relevant message? Because you don't know when your customer is in the is in the research phase, awareness building, whether they've already have interest in you or whether they're ready to buy. And you have to make sure as they're moving down the funnel, if you will, that you have the right message at the right time in the right channel in the right medium in order to make sure that they can make an intelligent decision, if you will. What are those motivations? What are their behaviors? Are they a sole decision maker or is there a hierarchy? Understanding that, for example, if you were communicating to me to sell me a piece of software, well, I might be the user, but the CFO might be writing the checks and somebody else in IT, for example, might have started the whole conversation as the person that influenced or or initiated the whole project. So if you're communicating to multiple people, again, what's that message? How do you communicate based on what's important to them? If you're communicating to a CFO about a return on investment, I'm not sure the IT guy is really concerned about that as much, or maybe maybe the, the user is not concerned about that as much either. So you have to make sure that the messaging that you're delivering is relevant. I'm repeating myself, it is relevant to your customer, the person that you're talking to, if there's a hierarchy or a single individual, to make sure that they understand the value that you're going to deliver for them by using your product or service. 
I want to thank you again for joining me here. It's been a lot of fun so far. I'm, I'm enjoying these. And I think that um, I, I hope you encourage you to go and check out the Business Growth Cafe, the, the, the full episodes. And I hope you join me here again tomorrow for another little coffee break.